Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about media ethics, which is the first part of chapter 11. Um, if you have a little bit of time, you can take a short media ethics quiz online, and remember that there is no tracking, so there will be no, um, no grade for this. This is just for yourselves. What is media ethics? As we know from language, from philosophy, the word ethics means the moral standards, the moral choices, legal considerations, and obligations. Uh, we personally live by those standards and obligations when we use media without even uh, giving ourselves an account about that. And um, even more importantly, media companies need to uh, respect those laws and and standards when they interact with one another and with audiences. Why do we concern ourselves with media ethics? Because media has a lot of power. Mediated messages are very powerful and <clears throat> mediated messages also involve real people who can be hurt, who can get hurt. And that's easy to forget when you're only dealing with media content. But please remember that on the other end of this equation, there's always an individual with interests and uh, vulnerabilities. And mediated interactions have consequences that we may not be able to predict every time. So remember that law and ethics are two different things and ethic, ethical violations may, may not be uh, illegal always, but sometimes they may. Um, laws may not be up to date, but ethics are always evolving with our times. Um, therefore, laws are not addressing problem behaviors that much, but ethical standards, they do uh, follow our trends. Uh, in present times, and they're evolving faster. So media, the media industry has a darker side. Um, when you go out into the industry and start your careers, you'll be asked to make decisions about the way you communicate through media. And in some organizations, there would be um, standards of ethics with which you will abide. Uh, so what guidelines are you going to use while making those decisions. Uh, first of all, let's remember from <clears throat> our philosophical past that um, we were supposed to love our neighbors like we, we love ourselves, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's the golden rule. Um, and so these reflect characters uh, or virtues that are acceptable in society. The golden mean is finding a balance, a middle ground between two extreme events or views. It is uh, important for journalists to consider the golden mean, for example, covering news story about um, elections, writing about um, video game content, reviewing social media, how, how it changes our culture. So your duty as a media worker will be to be responsible for your own actions be responsible for creating media content that, that does not hurt anybody, communicates effectively and ethically, and be responsible for addressing mediated communication problems that you encounter on daily basis. You should be responsible for creating healthy dialogue between people. And finally, we have um, a standard which we call ethics of care. Based on, it's based on a belief that relationships are important and all people deserve good relationships, whether it's person to person or mediated. So improving relationships around you, um, you can do that by caring for yourselves first, ex extending that care to others, recognizing that all people need care and kindness, adjusting your language choices to reflect care and kindness, um, which does not mean that you're necessarily a nice person, but um, also it does not mean that you have to tolerate bad behavior in return. So finding a balance, finding that golden middle, is the ethics of care, which should be extended to media work as well.